Oh, that voice! And that smile! Oh, do I miss her! Three years ago, in that female-only paradise, Strawberry Fields, The prophecy foretold the coming of the Knight of Zentar. Demons assaulted us. We fought, but... The demons turned our women into monsters. They were after the gems. The gems of Adriana. You must be the Knight of Zentar. Help us, please! Huh? A puny human save Strawberry Fields? Impossible! We'll take care of you! <laughs> ah, they were so grateful for having saved them. If only I could have stayed longer. Buddy! Phoenix, a town of special importance to the people of Zentar. The knight triumphed over the demons here. No one knows who she is. She was seen searching for something in the Phoenix Tower. Again. Help! Searching for the legendary Falcon Sword, the only weapon a demon fears. And we got it first the Falcon Sword and the Genji Armor. I'll get the falcon sword back! Who's to stop me? <laughs> and now, Desmond's latest adventure. Althea! Can you hear me, old woman? It's been 20 years since our pact was forged! Uh, am I hungover? Randy, Grog, and fried pig gristle. Ugh, never again. At least not in the same glass. Oh, let's see if I can find a cozy ditch to wretch <laughs> in the oh. hole. You look at that toasted loser! Yeah, don't say those. Shut up, you idiot! Give us your weapons and jewels, or we'll carve our names on your backside! That's not very nice. It's a good thing for you. I'm only permitted to draw my blade when facing the utmost in evil, <laughs> not the epitome of ugliness. So, in other words, you're completely defenseless? Yes, oh, I mean, no! Ow! You 
wake up. Mmm, ah, oh, Mom, I can't go to school today. Huh? Hey, you're not my mother. And you're not very bright. Next time you should use a sword. Spare me your wisdom, old man, and bring me a bucket. Ha! Oh. Huh. You've been unconscious for over a day. You should be grateful those brutes didn't kill you. Hey, and my name is LaRousse, not old man. An entire day? Where did you find me? A ditch. You see, some rats were mistaking you for a sausage, and not even someone of your low intelligence deserves that. Now, you must leave this town at once, they say. He who stuffs fish with worms must fly like chicken hawk. What's that supposed to mean? Well, how should I know? If I was a wise man, would I have taken in some bleeding drunk and let him soil my good sheets? Ha! Let me guess. That's a rhetorical question, right? Hey, got anything to eat? You bet! Pig gristle marinated in gin! Whoopee! Glad to see your manners rival your odor. Oh. By the way, how did such a scrawny guy get messed up with those thugs in the first place? They said they wanted my jewels. So you naturally refused? I would have fought them if I could have drawn my sword. What sword? the one I have right here. Hey! Where is it? My guest is the bandits sold it to a weapons shop and then used the cash for a drink. If I knew they were that evil, I would have drawn my blade. Stealing a man's sword is bad enough, but selling it for booze? So you lost your fancy pig sticker. What's the big deal? You're lucky to be alive. How am I going to explain this to Rolf? Let me guess, it's his sword, right? Well, sort of. You see, there was this poker game... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is there a window open? I'm freezing! Oh no! Not my armor, too! You certainly weren't wearing any when I dragged you out of that ditch. You mean I was... Didn't I say rats were about to have you for dinner? Great! And I promised Rob that I'd never lose the jewels. Jewels? Yeah, jewels. I should have sold them the minute I got them. Rest here, another day. I can't stay here! I need to get the jewels back! You didn't stand a chance with your armor and sword. What are you gonna do now? Just point me in their direction. I'll get them somehow. Hold on. You going out like that? Thanks for pulling me out of the gutter, old man. Bye! Walking around like that, and you'll be arrested. Hello. Oh, how nice. Did you grow that yourself with your mom? No, you can't come. Do you have any idea where you are? This is the Frump residence. So I strongly suggest that you vacate the premises. Hey, I'm hip. If you prefer that lifestyle, it's cool.
It's so cold! I gotta find some clothes before I find a popsicle dangling! Don't even think about heading up there! You always walk around like that? You're so cute! I wanna take you home! Help! Help! Bandits are ravaging my door! Hey! Hurry it up! I'm trying! Trying to figure out what to do is more like it. Help me. Hey, leave her alone! You're a fine one to talk. Put some clothes on. There is only one of you, and uh, get lost or you're next. Yeah! Shut up! Sorry, Matt. And you expect to stop us? Yeah, stop us. Shut up. Sorry. I'll take you all on, barehanded. That's it. Let's finish them off, boys. <laughs> Shit, he's tough. All right, my little boars. What did I do first? Stuff you, carve you, or roast you? We surrender. I want my sword and jewels back. Too late. We sold them. Then buy them back. I'll get your jewels back, I swear! You better for your sake! I lied, I lied, ha <laughs> ha, I still have your jewels. Wait, at least give me my underwear! This is not my day. The next time I'm accosted, I don't care if it's a Salvation Army! I'm drawing my sword! You have a sword? A sword and clothing and everything else befitting a hero of my stature. I mean, success. I also had a coat of honor that screwed me out of my jewels. Jewels? Little shiny things that people pay a lot of money for? That's right. Those buttheads took everything. Who are they anyway? Bandits from the West. They live on Mount Litmus where a great demon detects them. In exchange, they impregnate our women with his evil seed. The spawn of such couplings often do not reveal their true nature until their 19th birthday, where they take a knife to their parents. But you saved me. Has anyone tried anything? Like a constable? An exorcism? Squire Hollow is a small and poorly defended town. The landfall 
Donald Trump offers a large bounty to anyone who ends their reign. But even leaving the village is dangerous, the wilderness is filled with monsters. Great! At this rate, I'm never gonna get my sword nor jewels! Don't despair. After all, you beat the bandits once. True, you'll also be facing monsters that will cut out your tongue, beat on your eyeballs, and... Uh, no, wait. That's not in the wilderness to the east? Or uh, west? That's the... Uh, oh, or is that where dwell the ass of slimes that can dissolve a cow in under a minute? Wait a minute. Slimes live in swamps. Uh, so it must be... Okay! I get the point. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I frighten you? <laughs> Anyhow, I must return to my duties. Thank you, Mr... Desmond. What a delightful name. I think it means duck with cherry sauce in the land of the northerners. No, it's, it's cat with lead feet and... Goodbye! Ballroom dancing lessons, and you're the guy who lays the feet on the floor. <laughs> I'm here about the reward. For killing the bandits, Don Frump's offer stands at 300 gold sovereigns. And how do you plan on knocking them off? Skewer them with your rapier wit? Or maybe. I'll handle them the same way I took care of the goons in the tavern. That should be amusing. Very well. Since you are the only one volunteering, go right ahead. I'll let you see Dog Frump. By the way, what's your name? Don Frump is upstairs. Don't make any sudden movements while you're in his presence. And stand downwind on them. Excuse me. There's nothing I can do for you now. Help me! Help me! Help me! There's a naked guy prowling around. Ex. You're probably so destitute, you don't even have money for clothes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What 
is it now? You're naked! Very good, Dog Frump! It took you this long to notice? How dear let a pervert into my house? Frump, I'm here to help you. Sorry, I prefer women. No, I'm gonna take care of those bandits who've been harassing you. They also stole my jewels. You? How? Bludging them with your... Hey, that joke's getting done. No, I'll handle them just like I did in the tavern. It's plain to see how successful you've been. Well, they tricked me. So, how do you expect to do all of them in their hideout? I haven't got a cent to my name, but I was hoping you'd help me. Well, I do have to use armor and a knife. I guess I could let you have them. Well, it's better than nothing. When you defeat the bandits, I'll pay you 200 sovereigns. 300 sovereigns? Well, 300 minus the cost for the leather armor and the knife. I'll take 100 if you give me my sword and armor back. The bandits sold them to one of the weapon stores. And the jewels? Did they pawn those? No, the bandits must still have them. Their hideout is on Mount Witness. They enter town through the north road. I of the barricade I built. I don't know how. Here, now get out. I don't want to see you until those bandits are dead. He's a very generous man. You should feel honored to help him. Get out of here! Or if you insist on staying, at least stand downwind of me. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of Excuse me, you need to pay first. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to uh, Ralph's Weapon Emporium. Wait. Are you the rude fellow who wanted weapons for free? No way! Uh, sounds familiar. I pay serious money for them weapons. And if you think I'm gonna just give them to you, you're seriously mistaken. No, you're the one who's making a mistake. 
How dare you threaten me in my own stall? Get out! Hmm, how much can I charge for these babies? Uh, before I display them. Not even a land baron Brown's bounty prize can lure someone brave enough to purchase the size of these vermin. Oh, how nice. Your final address. In a way, it's sort of a shame.
a guest coming. You are the leader of the bandits. Who, me? Boss of the bandits? <laughs> uh, I don't know whether to be flattered or injured. Hey, don't try to fool me. I know who you are. You do? I appear to you as a normal mortal, like you think you are. How do you know? Easily. Just like I control men, and I control my form now, I'll control you someday. Now, that I brought you here, we can end in the deception. So long since I saw you last. You were but an infant then. I remember your dear mother quite well. My mother? What do you know about her? Far more than you do. In fact, that's whose jewels you lost. Every step you take is carefully watched by our why am I so important? And those jewels! Why? You truly do not know? Oh, that explains why your few thoughts are always nestled between your legs. That's none of your business! Oh, yes it is. But don't fret. Everything is going just as planned. In fact, I could end it all here, but the game is beginning to interest me. Goodbye. I'll see you again. For now, consider the pillaging over. Wait! You haven't told me anything. What about Mom? Why, poor Heaven's Bond, you are quite the fool. Ah, I grow bored. Leave my cave now! Rams, welcome, Naja! Yeah! Yeah! Welcome, Art, by the way. Did you see a guy in the buff running around? Oh, 
Welcome to Welsh Weapons Emporium. What can I help you with? Weapons or armor? You again? Sorry, Don Quam just bought the valuable weapons. The village is to the north. Yes, I know. It's a stupid name, but we couldn't decide on a name, so we simply call it the villages. Is there anything I can do to help? Permission. You still need permission. 